Hey everybody, welcome to uh, Facebook Live. A hey, second attempt, or maybe third. Uh, last Friday, I uh, kind of did a recap on 2018 and uh, said I'd be back to share with you what I was excited about in 2019 and uh, what's ahead, I guess, for me and uh, what I'm kind of looking at for, um, I guess, for Air Reinhardt. Um, so anyhow, the first thing I'm excited about is uh, personal production. So last year my production was average, probably a little below average, and I'm excited. My goal this year is to um, really help out a lot of people and have my second highest production year ever in the history of my career. So um, it could be the biggest, but my goal is really to do the second biggest, and if I hit the uh, number of transactions and it'll everything will take care of itself and it'll be good either way. So I'm excited about that. I have a lot of clarity around it. I'm recommitted and I um, have uh, I think I figured out a way to compartmentalize my life where I'm less distracted. And so for me, um, clarity is power and clarity is excitement. Um, I'm really good at uh, confusing things and I'm also I'm really good at making things abundantly clear. I have uh, both ends of the spectrum covered quite well, and I'm, I'm, I'm good at both, and so oh, I just have to go to one end of the spectrum or the other. Uh, so personal production I'm excited about. Stay tuned. Um, we pended a nice one last night, beautiful home in Larkin Township, and um, I'll you know, do another little post later on about that. Um, the other thing that's really been a frustration is the marketing uh, of our one of our company and my own personal uh, marketing, and that's a byproduct, I believe, more of the industry than it is what we're doing. Tons of changes going on in that whole segment, and um, it's just that the whole marketing segment for us has been scattered, and um, I don't know, there's, no, there's very little clarity in it. And um, one of the things I'm going to talk about in a minute is our 50-50 impact zone, where people are going to a few primary sources for that information. How do we make sure people know that and then two, how do we boost and promote that beyond the initial push because you basically in the city of Midland, Larkin Township last year, most of Midland County actually, uh, you have just under a 50% chance of selling the house in the first two weeks and then statistically your odds go down dramatically and that's what people don't talk about and so uh, in, I call it the compression of the 50-50 impact zone and um, it's something that we're going to be rolling out and I'm excited about it and uh, that's all part of our marketing area as well. But So getting clarity around our marketing, I'm excited about because we have a lot of ideas, we have a lot of great changes going on, and uh, issuing that, uh, sharing that with our all of our agents as well, and, and it's a dynamic process, but I think you'll, uh, I think our clients will be really happy with it, and um, first, first people to get, get clear on our agents, so they completely understand it. Um, and then we're all constantly learning from each other, and. Uh, you know, it's a great symbiotic relationship. Um, one of the things with that is also a document I put together. It's called the relocation. I've named it. We'll see what it comes out to. It's called the relocation conundrum. And it's basically a map of all the different forces at play in a corporate relocation and how to best navigate that and really how to best capitalize on your equity coming out of your house when you're coming, um, either if you're leaving another community coming into Midland or leaving Midland going to another community anywhere in the country or the world. So I'm excited to roll that out. Uh, I talked about the 50-50 impact zone briefly. Um, basically, it's a chart I put together. Um, we basically pulled all the Excel data from, or all the data, the large data set from our MLS, which, was, uh, we, which we went through a major conversion with last year. So our data is not the full year, but it's most of the year. And um, we, um, uh, getting some clarity around that data set so we can give statistical information around what we know to be true and um, it's really enlightening and eye-opening and um, it, 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 it helps us cast a picture of the truth of the market that we can give to all the scientists and um, highly educated people that we work with all the time. Um, the other thing I'm really excited about is the, gal the galvanizing of the Air Reinhardt team. Uh, I think last year was an awkward year. Um, just a lot of changes for the company. We did a remodeling, we did board uh, change. Um, I can't remember all the changes we had. Um, but there was nonstop shift. 
And this year, we think there's going to be less of that. And uh, I think our team is going to be have a lot more fun and, and, and be uh, a tighter knit group and with more clarity as well. So that's really exciting and we have some fun things coming on board. And then the other thing I'm really excited about is uh, the Air Reinhardt Bay team just really kicking butt and doing great and having fun and doing it in a nice healthy way and really growing and then watching Jim and Melissa really run with the company and, and take it to the next level. So we have a lot of fun things rolling out over there as well which um, I'm behind the scenes on but I'm not front and center and um, which is just the way I like it and uh, they will be uh, they'll be they'll be really moving the ball forward and the people over there are excited as well. So our kickoff uh, over here we'll be putting a video together is January 15th and videos will be rolling out uh, the one to two weeks after that about all of the awards and how uh, how the sales agents have done. The other thing, two things finally I'm super excited about. One is Julie and I have a couple of big vacations planned. One possible huge vacation and I'm just going to work really hard in between vacations and take some time off and uh, decompress a little bit and uh, so we're Going to Florida real quick. Um, we're thinking about a big trip to Europe, and um, another big trip in the summer. Uh, just a, a not a big trip, but a big time span in the summer of taking a little bit of time off, and uh, she and I connecting and really recharging our batteries, enjoying the kids being out of the house, and um, I don't know that it, it'll just be a nice year for Julie and I. And then also the one of the things I'm most excited about I'm. I, I've hired a coach and I'm training for a big mountain bike race on June 15th. So my schedule is really getting compressed and like I said in the last video, I don't operate well at 75-80%. I have to go full on. So part of that being full on is being very cognizant of my time and training for this mountain bike race is, is a challenge, but it's the discipline of the training and if I do the training, the race will be easy. I'll, I'll kind of do what I want to do and it's 100 miles on dirt single track trails with a whole lot of climbing and uh, you'll probably see some posts of me mountain biking here and there so that's what I'm excited about for 2019 I would encourage you to have some challenges this year what are your what are you excited about for 2019 write it down write down three things you're excited about and then the other thing is please follow me on Badger Beal Realtor that's this Facebook page, and I have a YouTube channel out there. I don't even know what it's called, Badger Beal Realtor 2 as well, I believe. And um, I'm on Instagram, all the social media. But um, hey, like this page, follow it, and uh, check out the Air Reinhardt page if you're in uh, Midland, Air Reinhardt Bay if you're in Bay City. And thanks a lot, and see you next Friday.